All right guys, so obviously as you as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I've already unboxed this, but I just really wanted to make this video to show you exactly what you get with the Beta 65. Um, as you can see, this is the Beta 65S with the on-screen display on FreeSky, FRSky. So really this drone is the perfect one for flying indoors. A, a, few, a few months ago I would have suggested getting the Red Balls drone, um, you know, if you're first getting into this. If you have any experience with flying whatsoever, I would highly suggest upgrading to the Beta FPV 65. So, this is what you get. You open the box, and literally all you get is this drone here, just encased in the foam. You pull it out, it will normally come with one battery. And that is literally it. It's ready to fly, ready to go. All you need to do is bind it to your FreeSky controller. If you have a Tyrannus or a Spectrum, that would be fairly easy, but you can also get this controller as well for only £25 on Amazon which I'll, again, I'll leave a link to this uh, transmitter in the description. I've also got a full review of this controller as well. And that's literally it, guys. This drone is so fast. For indoors, this really does perform well, um, as you can see from the videos, which I'll show you in a minute. So I just want to give you a close-up of this drone so you can see the how it's made. And you can see it's quite a robust shell. Unlike on some of the other drones, you've actually got these connecting bits of plastic here, which make a huge difference in terms of the structural, like, how strong the shell is when it withstands a crash. You've also got the aerial, importantly, pulled behind like this. The amount of times, the amount of times I've crashed a drone, the amount of times I've crashed a drone, something like this, with the cloverleaf antennae on the camera, as soon as you crash this, it's gonna bend and damage this connection here. You're always gonna crash on your back. You're gonna crash this thing, it's gonna flip, and it's gonna smash into the antennae. Whereas with this, that's not a problem at all. You literally crash this thing, it just lands on its, on its side like this, on its back. The antennae is not even damaged whatsoever, so the shell protects the entire camera from the crash. This is huge, guys. This is really important. So, And this is the case with all the beta, beta FPV drones, apart from one of them. But it's really important to have that shell and to have the antennae of the FPV camera pulled behind like this, like a little tail. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut to some footage of this thing flying so you can see what it's like. I'm going to fly it around indoors, but I'm also going to give you some footage from like flying around the loft and things like that, just so you can get a feel of how how far around the house this thing can go. I'm, try I'm gonna try not to edit the footage too much, but I just wanna give you the best bits, really. So yeah, let me go ahead and now cut to the footage so you can see what this thing flies like.